Anyways, blaster. Blaster. It's definitely this thing somewhere used to down be the here. Best weapon in the, this thing used to be the best weapon in the freaking game. And um, now no one plays specifically the vanilla. <laughs> um. Definitely lower. I mean, that's obvious. You, it does require aim, but I feel like at least the vanilla blaster by itself, it does require you to like be smarter with it. Cat stop. Because you don't have a bomb. Like on custom version, you have a you have auto bomb, which isn't the best bomb in the world, but it's still a bomb. Yeah. And and you have inkjet. And vanilla blaster has probably one of, if not the worst special in the game. So like you really have to like work around that. Yeah. So it, it's a lot harder. But you know. What is this called? Fresh squiffer? New squiffer? Yes. Fresh squiffer? Fresh Fresh, uh, the new, uh, the new one is... The one with uh, Autobomb and Baller, yes. I think? Yes. Fresh, it's a charger. It's obviously gonna be on the lower side. But, you also have Inkjet, which <laughs> is a special that requires aim as well. Yes. So... But it does have at least fast can, charge. Actually, no. I'm, yeah... Which, for that, for that, I feel like I'm going to compare... Uh, actually, you know what? No. The main weapon compared to Bamboo, you have MPU for Bamboo. That's cool, which is damage up. But it doesn't always hit. Squiffer has a 100% fully charged one-hit thingy. Plus, it has the MPU that uh, ups, like, makes your range and paint go higher. So... Think. Shut up, cat. <laughs> <laughs> She's like sneezing for no reason. Um, I'd, yeah, I, I'd say where you have it right now is actually pretty accurate to where it is right now. I'd say up one more, like above Gluga, because it has inkjet, but yeah. There's a possibility I probably should have just left it the way it was, because we're actually taking a while. <laughs> <laughs> True. Heavy Deco! Uh, heavy Deco, I am. Yeah. Um, I hope you don't try to convince me to put it down here. Where <laughs> I could definitely imagine it being somewhere here. It's definitely on the lower side. Heavy, heavy in general. It requires you to use run speed, and I know I'm using that word a lot, but it's true. Uh, it's so gear dependent, and heavy deco by it, it like it requires you to have run speed, special char special power, not charge. Because of its bubbles, if you want, if you want to be able to play the game, you need special power for bubbles. But it also has the wall, which how do I how do I put this? You also can be strategic with walls, unlike any other spotling. You kind of just throw it out anywhere. Like with the other two spotlings, you kind of just like throw out a sprinkler. It paints. Throw out point sensor. It does its job. With wall, you have to use it in such a way where you actually have to play around it. So I feel like it's definitely on the lower side of uh, probably required skill. Regular sloshy machine. Now, thankfully, I, have no idea. I don't have any bias against this one, but it's still got its Hunga Junga main weapon blast radius thing. But yeah, this I, one has auto bomb and stingray, and that alone requires you to kind of think for a bit. But at the same time, hmm, I might. I'm gonna put it here. If I really feel like it, I might put it here. Actually, maybe the Neo one, in particular, might go here. Big might. I only say this because I don't know why you would need to back up with the kit it has. You know, that being point sensor and, uh, what was it, spot bomb launcher? Yes. So, and again, dumbo dumbo blast radius. Splat Screw thing. the weapon in general. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, vanilla machine, stingray, and auto bomb. I yeah, I got it. it. It should be in literally average, but I feel like it should be on the lower side solely because it's uh, auto bomb sucks. Stingray, it like you have to like know, you know, you have to know with stingray, you know. You said so, the like, lower mid, end. Yeah, like low, like mid lower, you know. I don't know, because I think this weapon might be easier to play than, like... No, like, the main weapon itself, it's still, like, you know, it's main weapon, but it's it has Stingray. True. And Autobomb, which is, again, one of the worst what special 
<laughs> subs, subs in the game. In the game. It is 4 a.m. I should not be doing this, but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, if you want, we could try to make this fast. Sorella Brella! It's a Brella, so I feel like it has to go somewhere down here. I, I literally just had experience playing with this weapon. I got you. Um, <laughs> you have to have aim, especially with the recent nerf on it. It kind of like lowered its damage output, I think it was. Yeah. 90 to um, 81. 90 to 81? Freaking garbage. What is that? Um, yeah. You're, you're like you have to know when to put out your shield to protect yourself. You have to know how to aim, especially in the middle of like the reticle because of the damage nerf. Yes. Like you have to know more how to aim because of the damage nerf. So I feel like it would sh it should be high. You are cool, smart, skillful. Uh, l uh low probably repairs. Good job, Pro Char. Good job. Custom what blaster. <laughs> Custom blaster. Definitely higher than the regular blaster, especially since it has inkjet. Yeah. And a bad sub. But that doesn't make it easier than It doesn't this. it doesn't Oh wait, no, I, I don't know why I said higher. I meant lower. It should it should be lower than regular blaster since it has inkjet and a bad special. Uh, sub. Oh my god. Range yeah, blaster. I feel like that's... Range, Range blaster. blaster. I honestly um... feel like just for the aim alone, I mean I have a bias against this weapon, but like just for the aim alone, I feel like it's like here or here because Definitely, like if you yeah. miss you're fricked you're dead 100 percent. unless the person's bad at aiming which just so happens to be me otherwise you're fricked actually i think for that the load it should be here honestly somewhere down here let's also like let's also take like consider like how you play it because of like blaster radius you can like wall people out you can like make them go somewhere else because you hit them with an indirect yes only problem is so it honestly if the person really depends on how you yeah play it. if the person was fast let's just say you sort of can't do that and if they get in and they have like a lot of swim speed or something i don't know like you have to like have gone to your aim like better like i'm talking better charger aim to like win that split second of a firefight with um, literally, you know what? Anything else. Yeah. <laughs> like, your standard the art, like, T-Tag, Splash, you know, all of the above. Yeah. Tenta Sorella Brella. Wait, did I- I meant Tenta- Ca Freaking Camel Tenta Brella. <laughs> I really said Tenta- It's late. <laughs> <laughs> it's late, people. Yeah, I don't know- you could- I don't know if you could see it- Oh, no, you can't see it because I have the window thing, but for me, it's like 1.24 in the morning for him. It's like, I think 4.24. It's 4.24 a.m. I don't know why we're doing this, but you know what? Frick our, frick our sleep. <laughs> tent, tent camo definitely requires skill, actually. Definitely. Considering um, you have to, like, know when to put out your shield, because tent, tent in general, it relies so much on its shield. So, like, you kind of just have to have that knowledge of, like, what situation and what situation to like uh, what situation to put it out and what situation to not put it out i am tired <laughs> plus it has stamp which does require some skill i don't know neither of us play tent yeah i mean i try playing tent but like i'm i swear i'm, I'm just bad with it for some reason so, so like tent players do not come at us if we're actually you no know, if any of you've made these people if any of you people main these weapons, and you disagree with us, honestly, this is our opinion. <laughs> yeah, this is solely our opinion, PC Tub, so everything we say could be incorrect for all we know. And more specifically, <laughs> me. <laughs> Anyways. Which is why I'm here. Both of the Tetras. Light one in particular, which I, 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 I don't know how I feel about this, because... I definitely play Tetra more than you. Yeah, so like... Where do you so, think this even goes? It's definitely lower because it, it can't paint. Uh, literally, its job is literally go in, die, get kills. Like that's its job. Period. Like, wait, um, you have like your. My throat is dying. You have to dodge roll because if you don't, your RNG sucks. You you're not gonna kill anything. Um, with the kits though, Light I feel like Dark Tetra. I feel like Dark Tetra goes a bit lower. Really? Because it has splashdown. Ah. Uh, 
solely because of that. Interesting. I mean, I could definitely like, yeah, it, it, is, it is it is decently skillful because you have to like because when you're dodge rolling, it, you are required to dodge roll. True. And you also like whenever you dodge roll, you also have to like have decent aim. So I feel like it's below ballpoint actually, a little bit below. Really? Yeah, because with ballpoint, you're not moving. You're kind of just sitting in one spot and you're kind of just shooting stuff. Oh, that's true. Custom range blaster. Ah, this thing, holy god. Um, very, very low. It's probably lower than Vanilla Blaster, honestly. Dang. You have, you have bubbles. That's cool, but do you have a weapon that really complements that at all? Compared to like, what, like, Squeezer? Even Heavy Deco complements it better. You have Curling Bomb, sucks for it. Honestly, if you're gonna like, ever use this thing, let's hope that you're actually good what he said anyways bamboozler mark two um <laughs> <laughs> okay in all seriousness now this is the part where i actually have a valid opinion because you're talking to someone who literally has three million points on this weapon that wishes to be better and i gotta say i actually don't know where this goes <laughs> Like, okay, I think solely for the fact that this is my weapon, it goes here. Just because it's me. But I, what I really take into account of what it's got, point sensor, ink storm. Because it's vanilla, and you kind of have to play a little bit more defensively. It's definitely in this area, but I definitely I definitely say it's, uh, like, oh so slightly like lower middle. than, the, than the, the splatter shots. Just solely because... You do require just a tad bit more. Yeah, aim. you do. You need. You do need aim. Yeah, and you do need a. But yeah, I, I can definitely see it's higher than a Squiffer. Yeah. and lower than. Yeah, because Squiffer does shot. require. Uh, just. It's a charger. Yeah, it's a charger all so. in all. You can't just be holding down the button like the like you know these weapons for example. You need to just like you know just kind of patiently let and like pick your choice to like let go of it. And with this weapon, you kind of just have to like peacefully and quietly just aim at them and body them. Meanwhile, we have Bamboo, Mark II. I have something to say for me, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> it has rain. Yes. And like like I said, with Ballpoint, it does, I think with Ballpoint, I don't know, a rain weapon. You do have to like put it in like an area that you have to do use your brain a little bit. I mean, it's fine in where it's in its spot right now because of the main weapon itself. With point sensor, you kind of just spam it all over the place. Go to bamboo. What too? Honestly, this one is so weird because like you could definitely it's, make up. It's something special is weird. Yeah. yeah, main weapon wise, you can make up the reason to say like it's hypothetically the easiest charger because of MPU. Because like in a it's firefight. Also. It's also um, the best charger because of MPU. Yeah. Because, like, it gets into a firefight, right? Millisecond firefight. Squiffer, and these are the weapons, very likely can't do anything. Bamboozler, depending on what's happening, probably could, actually, because MPU number one, and number two, super fast charge rate. So it's like... So, no, this is also, this is also where uh, Squiffer and Bamboo are definitely, like, the different type of chargers to, like, be in, like, a 1v1 situation. Squiffer and Bamboo can handle themselves. Yes. Not well, but a lot better than any of the other chargers that are on this list. Yes. Because they have such a fast fire uh, charge rate, I cannot speak. Plus, you have Burst Bomb Rush. So... I don't remember how many points it requires to get Burst Bomb Rush with this thing, though. That's my only issue. Yeah, I don't know either. We're just gonna put it here for now. I, I, I feel, yeah, I feel like it's definitely, like, around Squiffer. Um, honestly. Yeah. Like, if you have MPU, uh, one thing about MPU Bamboo, it doesn't always, like, it doesn't always connect. People don't always have 90, like, that 0.1% of damage on them. So if you kind of just shoot them, they kind of just take 99.9 .9 damage and then they just heal up. Which is something that Squiffer doesn't need to deal with. What should be every single lower time. Than Squiffer. I think it's lower than Squiffer uh, by a little bit. We'll probably figure that out with like Actually, this yeah. is Mark II. This one has Toxic Mist. That, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, point. yeah. Yeah. 
that custom e leaders, the both of them, or unscoped okay. and scoped, worse than other e leader. Yes. Um, so if if the weapon is worse, I'd say it's harder. Just it, honestly, just by default, to be completely honest. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, its kit doesn't really complement it as well as vanilla. I feel like it is higher than a. Explode though because it is a long range charger, so I, I think I can see that. Longer range. It is the longest. Technically, it's the longest range of the whole game. It is the longest range in the game. Plus, you have MPU to add onto the range. Yeah. Even though it's not by much, but it's still something. Okay. Mini spalling that is not the pop Honestly, here or here? Actually, hmm. I gotta think about this. Cause like hypothetically, right, you do that. I'm gonna say my thing. Okay. <laughs> Middle literally average. It's for me. It's lower than Nautilus because, like I said, with Nautilus, you can get, you can like you you can like move. You can hold its charge. You have that mobility uh, option, unlike any other spalling does not. So mini, it, it's 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 a really good painter. It's basically aerospray level of painting. So it, even though it has two hundred and twenty um, uh, points for missiles. If you pop on like 1.1 1 .1, uh, special charge, one main, one sub, special charge, even that alone, it will give you, it will get you missiles really fast if you decide to paint at the start of the match. And missile spam is so good, it's crazy, which is why I'm actually okay. Now I'm contemplating if it's like better than Nautilus or Nautilus is better than it. <laughs> Because it has missile spam, but it doesn't have the hold charge. Yeah, but it can paint. It's probably better. It has a faster fire rate. Hundred percent. And with MPU, it could. Well, I mean, why would you use MPU though? Well, I mean, actually, you could argue the case for MPU. Most mini players use like one one sub, and that alone is enough to like shoot long enough. One sub. It feels really good. Yeah, literally one sub. It feels really like one, maybe two subs. It feels really good, at least for me. Whenever I do it. Anyways. I don't know. It's definitely around Nautilus, but its fire rate is faster. So it makes it somewhat easier to use. I think it's easier, yeah. Maybe it's, okay, it's one above Nautilus. <laughs> At least for me. Costrom, Jet, Squelcher, everyone's oh favorite everyone's favorite stingy weapon. Now, this is one of the interesting things because it has Stingray, but because it has Stingray, does that automatically justify it to being even in the literal average area? Or because of the fact you could spam it, it goes like somewhere here even, you know? I'm, I'm trying really hard to think of it right now. This is honestly more of a, does Stingray justify its difficulty to use or not? Literally? This is, li um, that is literally what this is. It's... It's really close to Vanilla Jet, but because of Burst Bomb. If it didn't have Burst Bombs, I feel like it would be lower than Vanilla Jet because it had Ray. Even though you do have Ray Spam, it's like, what, 180? Yeah. For missile, uh, not missiles, uh, 180 for Stingray? Yeah. That is hor- that is- holy god. Considering, like, it's a shooter, and shooters naturally play uh, better than any other weapon in the game. Oh my god. Like, you do have missile- I swear to god if I say missile over stingray one more time. You do have stingray spam, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get kills with it. But at the same time... It has burst bomb. Yeah. To, like, complement its weapon really well. Unless Sorry, it's- if you're not a- What? Unless there's a- un Until we fill out more weapons, I'm gonna just put it here for now. Yeah, I mean, considering it's so weak, you do have burst bombs to like back you up. So, anyways, regular vanilla charger. Oh boy, pretty right, sure. Don't even have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a right. <laughs> nice. Okay, for real though, <laughs> where do we place it? It's a charger, lower. Um, and it has stingray, so it's definitely lower than Kenzo charger. But uh, the bomb does make it like better to use. Especially since bombs right now are amazingly good. So probably require skill. The very lower end, I'll say. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, it's just because he leaders. The vanilla e leader. 
Let me, I gotta oh, find boy. the, I gotta find the scope. Oh wait, here it is. Oh, gosh. I was about to say, like, you didn't... Vanilla scoped E-leader. Vanilla E-leader in general. Oh, yeah. You have... You have better... You just have better kit in general than you, other you E-leader. Have, you have an incline which you can use to your advantage, in a way. So, like, if you're, if you're amazingly good at, like, hitting shots, and you're, like, really close to something, like, you're at point-blank range with someone, you do have ink mines to, like, damage them and then hit them with a partially charged shot. But... Which is something that custom doesn't have. The only issue is that still requires a good amount of aim. Yes. Plus it has rain, which, uh, depending on how you use it, again... Uh, actually, no, it's, rain is extremely situational. Never mind. So, I- yeah, I'd say where it's right- where it is right now, it's fine. E-leader mains don't come at us. <laughs> oh, goodness. The yeah. Apple Dooleys! Ah! Just- I know it's a bad weapon, but, like, I wanna s don't- I don't wanna apply that rule to this weapon and say it's, like, up here or something. But at the same time as Beacon. So you have to be somewhat smart, but it does have paint, and you could probably just get <sighs> suction bombs. But okay. probably. We're, it's... In my opinion, it's harder. It's on the harder end. But that's because, like, um... Like you said, you have beacons. And... The main weapon in general... Has no range. Oh. It has, it has no range. Its fire rate is, like, really good. And it, like, you have to go up. It is basically spoosh, but without a bomb. Dapp Dapple's job is to go up and kill things. So I think, it, I think, like, and especially whenever you dodge roll, you do have, like, that boost in fire rate, and, but you also have that RNG, yeah. which is none. So it does make you have to aim. I think it's low literally average. That's high literally average. Uh, well, you actually <laughs> think it's down here. Yeah. Actually, maybe actually, I Actually, could... yeah. It's near Tetris because they're both dualies and they both basically do the same thing. Except Apple's... No, Tetra does it better. It's Custom Junior. Honestly, it's literally just... Junior, but you have... Like, you, like you're pa It's painting map central. Let's be real here. It literally... If... The, something about this weapon just feels like it somehow is being merciful and not controlling everything. It literally has 160p for Inkstorm. And this thing, you know, you know how everyone knows how much this thing paints. Yes. <laughs> and because of its, uh, one of its, uh, you know, middle stage Splatoon 2 buffs, where it got, like, the big old ink tank, you can actually spam auto bombs without the sub saber. Yes. So, but, I, I want to put it here. It's not a great weapon, but, like, that doesn't change the fact that someone can use it and just do things. Still do better. Yeah. Um, a good, okay. Real quick, I'm going to define what a good support weapon is. A good support weapon is a weapon that paints the map better than, like, most other weapons. Ideally, so regular in, explosion. In junior. theory, yeah. In theory, custom is really good. But vanilla is better because you, uh, because it uh, provides armor and, like, better bomb. True. But... It's still, a, like, Custom Junior is still a nice niche when you don't want that double armor, uh, type thing. The, Honestly, only, the only thing I will say about Custom Junior is that if for whatever reason they gave Inkstorm a buff and where it doesn't have that slow down duration thing where you have to wait until it runs out to then use another Inkstorm, this weapon... It would definitely go higher. It would not just be higher up here, it would maybe ideally be the best support weapon in the game if there was no cooldown with Inkstorm. But because there is one, it's... it's... it's okay. Splat Roller! Yeah, I... yeah, I think right there is fine. Anyway, yeah, Roller. Oh boy. Um, I literally just used this. Uh, lower lower here here even lower than here and here here higher a little because yeah, okay the curling bomb fits it really nicely 
it fits it so nicely. It's probably like it's it's literally the best kit out of all of them. But it has splashdown. Not to mention it's horizontal flick. Most of the time, absolute trash. Like if you're gonna like try and horizontal flick someone, you have to get them like most of the part, most of it in the middle. Which is vertical flick already does that in general. So if you're gonna be using vertical flick most of the time, you do require you do need some aim, at least. Unless if you're just gonna be a bad horizontal main. True. Because horizontal flick is bad on all rollers. In their own way. Uh anyways. Except Dynamo, but yeah. Fire fin. Fire fin. Honestly, I feel like it just goes here. Like actually no 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 wait. Maybe I was about to say, like, it's definitely not it's definitely not lower than the regular one. Um The only reason why, because like I played with the weapon a little bit enough to say very small things about it. Splash wall with and it just I don't know why, but something about it somehow does not complement fire fan. And I think part of it is actually the ink consumption. I literally feel like I get only two full shots after throwing out a splash wall. Keep in mind without any sub saver but like i don't know it just feels like if you wanna do all that hiki biki stuff you just get so much sub saver to like you know shoot everything anyways but what do you have to say about it it's in between the other treasure variants that's for dang sure but it has bomb it has suction bomb. but it does not have great pain so it will take forever to get it but that's why you have special charge True. So, to be perfectly honest, especially in a mode like zones or something or turf, something where like you need paint, it's a, it's really like you like you have suction bombs. Suction bombs on their own paint, like they have like the biggest radius in the game. I'm pretty sure uh, for bomb. Uh, and you're also throwing like tons out, so it's like yeah. But wall lets it move up. Now it does like consume ink, that's for dang sure. But you're also more than likely gonna be running a uh, main saver for any charger. It's just gonna Honestly? be seemingly heavy gear dependent a little bit, it seems. Yeah, pretty much. Regular dualies. Um just because it's even if Kensas are arguably better to use. Does that make it? Does that make the regular ones harder to use somehow? It has burst bomb, so I definitely say it's a little higher. Yeah. Actually, for now, just because it's one of those beginner weapons, I'm gonna put it here for now. For now, unless another weapon changes my mind. Regular ballpoint. Lower than other ballpoint. Definitely. It ha it it doesn't have a genuine sub. Oh yeah. Like the other one. It has inkjet, which. You need to aim, and you already need to aim with the weapon in general. You have a bad sub, so it's hard to use. To be perfectly honest, it's, it's decently hard to use. Yeah. Anyway, uh, regular goal. My throat is dying. I. It's definitely here. Am I. Is it harder to use, or is it better to use? Because, like, it has sprinkler, which automatically means it does have a ball, but it has ink storm. But it does have that, uh, the 200 points nerf thing where it requires that many points to get Ink Storm. But this thing paints. But, like, actually, mm, I don't know. I think it's harder. What do you think? I think it's easier. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, like, especially since it has Sprinkler. I mean, of course, it's still, like, literally the same weapon. You have Sprinkler, which you kind of just set it down, like, oh, like a few times in-game. And that's about it. Oh, that's true, actually. I didn't think about that. And unlike with the other one, you have like you have like a genuine bomb that is you have a lethal bomb, which can you can throw it like uh like players to get them to like move. What are you gonna do with Sprinkler? You're gonna like throw it at them like oh they're just gonna shoot it. So play patty cake with it. New Squiffer, right? This is the new Squiffer. Yes. I, Survivability special? Uh, I'd say it's easier than Fresh River. Easier than Ballpoint, it, though. 
question. Easier. Easier? Yes. Probably. Especially since it's Squiffer and Ballpoint does uh Ballpoint does have like the better aggressive like options because of Storing's Moon. That doesn't mean that Squiffer can't do it either. Squiffer can be both aggressive and like controlling I guess, in a way I don't know how to like explain it but you also will you more than likely will have MPU anyway so both of them paint really nice um yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I th like I, th I think it's uh Swiffer doesn't change it uh doesn't change its way of fire at all so yeah, plus it doesn't shoot out multiple bullets it's a one hit forever so i'd say it's i'd say it's higher though i'd say it's higher how much higher just one it's one higher higher than even splash pro or just just where no, it's like, at higher than Bullpoint. oh yeah okay grim range make it short <laughs> pretty sure it's like I, this this feels like the easiest out of the range blasters but it still doesn't change the fact that it's like it it is it, it's so it's it's still hard <laughs> Easiest out of I the think, three, but that does not make it easy in general. I think, in my opinion, I am O. It's better. It's easier than Exposure and Custom Leader. Okay, that's fair. Solely because it has how much is missiles? One ninety, I think. You have burst bombs, and some, you do have missiles, which again, missiles is really good. Even even though you're not spamming it, you will get it from time to time. That will pressure the other team. Cat literally stop. So, I I'd, I'd say it's fine. CC Senor. Uh, anyways, uh, custom Gootuber. Just because it sucks, it goes here. But does actually no? It just sucks all in all. I think this is the custom one. Isn't this the one with a uh, suction bomb and inkjet? I think. So it might be. Uh, no, it has curling bomb and inkjet. Oh, curling bomb and inkjet. So. It's definitely down here because it's Scootuber and it sucks all in all. But actually, I think I would just put it like here or something. Along with the other Gootuber. Because they both are just like, they just suck. Because they require too much. Sploosh Neo. I am so tempted to actually put it here. Maybe even here. For one reason. And this is just from... An experience I had recently. I had a teammate. No, actually, I think it was. Well, it was. Uh, it was in like in a private battle lobby, right? There was this guy who not, and he did not use three peers of special charge BT dubs. My man, in a full five minute match, got I kid you not, sixteen ten missiles with this weapon. I mean, obviously we know why. But like not even a pure or like not even like this whole like special short shebang shebang. He got like 16. I mean it's not gonna be like a free Somebody W every died. time, but like you're what? Oh no, definitely not. Definitely not but a pure. Does have missiles, man. Like I said, it missiles missiles is really it, it's, especially with Neo Splush, you're you're spamming missiles without special charge. Uh missiles is again really good. Definitely higher. Not higher than Kiko. <laughs> It's it's higher in the list, at least. For now, I think it's here. But it, but but you do need like some strategy with some beacons, I guess. Yes, keyword. I I I I I'd say it's fine. Pulling's a roller, the one with splash ball and splat bob launcher. It's harder than the other one. That's for dang sure. Uh, because. You have a wall. What are you gonna do with a wall? Exactly. <laughs> On a roller. Like, Flingzo's only job is to paint, and uh, uh, definitely, probably, maybe missiles fits that uh, fits foil a lot better because you're you're constantly painting, and you more than likely will have special charge anyway because it's missiles. Who wouldn't run special charge on missiles? Exactly. Unless you're running like K-pop, like, other than that. 